I've got two minutes. I want to talk about two things: jobs and China. I am so sick of this nonsense about how we are the jobs killers and. This whole old, outdated paradigm pitting the environmental movement against the labor movement. We are so over that. We want to join with our allies in the labor movement to reinvent the economy from the ground up because this economic system is failing everyone on multiple levels. We know we aren't the ones killing jobs. We know who actually did kill the jobs. They've got names and addresses and there are people occupying parks and squares in protests across this continent and around the world to name and shame them. They they tank the economy and then they pass the bill onto states and, and cities and towns, forcing them to lay off teachers and healthcare workers and forcing the most vulnerable people to pay for their crisis. The, the way we deal with this, this crisis that they have created is not with a few thousand temporary jobs that doesn't begin to scratch the surface of, of the problem. It's by reinventing the real economy from the ground up. It's about rebuilding the public infrastructure so that we don't emit dangerous greenhouse gases and that means public transit and that means smart grids and renewables and it also means strengthening the public infrastructure so that we can deal with the heavy weather that has already been unleashed. It means rebuilding our economy so that we aren't exclusively dependent on imports that have been shipped thousands of miles using fossil fuels. That means rebuilding the food system, relocalizing it, relocalizing economies in multiple ways. We know that the cities and towns that have done this have weathered through this economic crisis much much better than those that have it. That way lies millions of jobs. That's where the future lies. We need to bring the movement demanding economic justice and the movement demanding climate justice together so that they're one strong movement. And the last thing I want to leave you with is this idea that if this pipeline isn't built, um, another pipeline will be built across my country, across British Columbia, Canada, over the Rockies to ship the oil to China. Let me tell you something. Right now in Vancouver, there's a huge rally led by indigenous people saying, no mining, no pipelines. We will stop whatever pipeline you try to build. And let me tell you something. They mean it. And they have constitutional law on their side. So as you surround the White House today, I want you to remember that we don't just have the White House surrounded, we have the tar sands surrounded. Thank you.